Hi, welcome to my channel. I have a Goodwill haul to share with you today, so let's just jump right in. I'll show you the items that I got uh, for myself personally first, and then I'll show you the items that I bought for my upcoming Etsy store stock. So, I found three shirts because, as you know, I'm one Weight Watchers and I needed some new tops. So I got this one, and these are all in the large. So it's a black top with, um, it's got white uh, stitching around the neckline. So that looks nice and comfortable. That's cotton. Um, and that was Faded Glory. And these were all $4.50. This was at Goodwill. And this was a Jones of New York. This is a large. I thought that would be a really cute top for July 4th. So that is nice. And it looks plenty long enough. That seems to be an issue that I find so often. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one, but um, a lot of shirts at Goodwill, I call them Minnie Mouse shirts. <laughs> They're short <laughs> because they've been shrunk. Oh. So yeah, I can't wear any Minnie Mouse shirts. Um, and then this one is a Style & Company large. Um, that's from Macy's. And that... This is very similar to two of the other tops that I recently got, but it looked so nice and comfortable that I just couldn't pass it up. So those are the three shirts that I found um, for myself. And I found this Wolfgang Gang Puck um, Bistro Elite Collection. This is an eight inch omelet pan, and it's in really great shape. Um, I spent it was $2.99 and then 10% off of that. So $2 and some change. So this was in really nice shape. And I really like, look on the underside of this handle. It has kind of a grippy, um, the way the metal is ridged there. So that's nice um, for when um, we make a lot of fried eggs for breakfast, being on Weight Watchers. A fried egg and a banana, that is uh, my breakfast of champions that I often have. Um, okay, so the next thing is uh, a bag of uh, bazillion spools of thread. And I took a few things out of there. Also came with the little classic tomato for your bean cushion. Um, so this is great because um, a quilt and my daughter also sews. So might share some of the thread with her, but for the whole bag, um, it was $3.70. So if you know the prices of spools of thread, uh, you know that's a pretty good deal because one spool of thread is easily that these days, which is kind of crazy. But it also had a brand new package of buttons in there, and this was from Walmart, 78 cents. Uh, I don't really need that, but... And then a package of needles... Maybe I'll sell those couple things. And uh, this as well. This I thought was really neat, you guys. It's a vintage set of old hooks and eyes. And I thought that was really neat. So that was all in that bag. So, And no shopping trip would be complete, you know, without a toy. <laughs> so this is not vintage. But it is the Fisher-Price Chatter Foam. And, um, hello? <laughs> yes, I'm a big kid. And it works just fine. This, I looked for the date and it's 2009, so it's only 10 years old. But it has the, the uh, pull string complete with it. And um, this is going in Grandma's Hope Chest. <laughs> um, so I paid 90 cents for this. I think that's worth it. So that was a nice find for my personal collection. All right, so everything else that I'm about to show you is going to go in my Etsy shop. So um, first thing I will show you is a Fire King. This is called a Peach Luster finish, and I just, I have always admired this. And this is just kind of a casserole dish, I guess you could say. It's in a really nice shape. Some of them you see, um, it's really scratched up, but this is very nice, no chips, um, nothing. It's just all very nice. And I paid about a dollar and seventy cents for that, so that was a good buy. <laughs> I wanted to show you 
I also already have these. These are the pink luster little custard dishes that kind of have a scallop rim to them. I have a set of four of them that I also bought from Goodwill some time ago, maybe a couple years ago. And I think I paid about 75 cents for each of these. Um, at any rate, I bring these up because I think I'm going to go ahead and pair these together. Possibly I might sell them separately, but I think I'll put both of these in my Etsy shop. I'm not, you know, too attached to these. I do like them, but um, I might rather just put them in my Etsy shop. Um, along those lines, I found three of these Pyrex custard dishes. These, I don't believe these are vintage. They look really relatively new. And I did look online and Target even sells these. So these I paid 70 cents a piece for. So I have a set of three. So those will go in my Etsy shop, um, I believe. So well, that's that. Um, and then I found this really pretty bowl. Let me put my glasses on so I can read you the bottom. This is a beautiful Saji, S-A-J-I, made in Japan, China bowl. And I'll bring it a little closer so you can really see up close, but it is hand painted. It's just beautiful. And it has gold etching and then just the open lattice work. It's really beautiful. It's just a small little, I guess you could call it a trinket dish. Uh, it really caught my eye, just um, the beautiful purple flowers, maybe some pansies. Um, so I thought I'd put that in my Etsy shop. <clears throat> this was $2.70, so that was a pretty good deal. So even if I don't, I'm not able to sell it, which I think I should be able to sell it. I wouldn't mind keeping it actually, but I will sell it. All right, now for the fun stuff. <laughs> All right. So it seemed to be a day for um, children's motif things. <laughs> This is a Wedgwood Beatrix Potter little children's bowl. And it's kind of more or less one of those collectible things. I mean, I suppose you could use it, but for me, I wouldn't want to mess up the graphics on it. But um, let me read to you what it says. It's really cute. It has Peter Rabbit running for his life because if you've ever read Beatrix Potter, you know he was a, he was a naughty little rabbit. It says, but round the end of a cucumber frame, whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? He jumped up and ran after Peter, waving a rake and calling out, stop thief. <laughs> but I thought this was cute. Really cute. And the graphics are very nice. So that was a neat find. That was a little more than I would typically would spend. It was like $4.70. However, I think I should be able to recoup my money. So this is going in my Etsy shop. You can't tell I'm a mother of three, right? <laughs> and then they had another Beatrix Potter. This is a little plate. And um, this is again, Wedgwood. And these are both, by the way, made in England. And um, this one says, once upon a time, there were four little rabbits and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. And then it has the mom, the mother bunny with the little, little rabbit. I just thought that was darling. Very cute. So this was also $4.70. So again, a little more than I typically would like to pay for something like this but um, I think they should do pretty well. So those were kind of fun purchases. Um, I must be getting so, uh, to be an old softy in my old age or something, <laughs> paying more than I should, but I think I should recoup my money. Okay, so now it seemed to be a day for Holly Hobby. I saw a number of Holly Hobby items. Now this is just precious. This is a precious moments Holly Hobby, looks like they're having a little picnic. She, the one is pouring tea in her little cup. I don't know if you can really see that, but 
It is precious. And uh, they've got their little bonnets on for the hot day. <laughs> Maybe they have some lemonade. <laughs> and they've got their little blue blanket all strewn out there. That's just screams friendship to me. That just seems so fun. I do not typically buy these little trinkets, um, but it must've caught me on a good day. Um, so I paid $7.20 for this. Now I anticipate making a little bit of money on this, but probably not a whole lot, but it was precious. So I couldn't pass it up. Now, along the line of Holly Hobby, <laughs> again, um, I found these two drinking glasses and the graphics are like in mint condition. You would think that they were just, um, you know, manufactured. However, it says it's from 1972 and it's so cute. It says, start each day in a happy way. And there's classic Holly Hobby. If you grew up in the 70s, you know Holly Hobby. <laughs> and then the second cup, excuse me, says the time to be happy is now. Couldn't agree more. And uh, there's a little girl swinging with her cat nearby. And that's just precious. So these were actually a good price. These I paid 70 cents for. So I think I should do pretty well on the two of those. I was hoping that they might have two more to make a set of four, but they didn't. Now, who knows? I might go back, you know, in a few days and they may have them. So it's all a matter of when they set them out, but there's no defects, no chips, no nothing. They look great. And the bottom of them is pretty nice thick glass, which is, makes them very nice and durable, which is probably why they survive all these years. So that is a nice find. <clears throat> now along the lines of Holly Hobby, I wanted to show you, let me clear some space. I wanted to show you one of my vintage toys. I don't know if any of you had this, or if you did comment below, but it's a Holly Hobby little tree house. I'll open it up so you can see. I, this is not the one from my childhood. I did have one growing up. However, I have no idea what happened to it. So maybe about 10 years ago, I decided to order this on um, eBay. <laughs> and uh, you see, it has the little, little baby carriage with it and a little baby inside. And then there's the little Holly Hobby doll. She can sit in her little swing here, <laughs> and it does swing. I don't know if you can see that. Let me angle the camera down a little bit more so you can see. It is just precious. So, has a little gazebo. I said tree house. It's a gazebo, isn't it? <laughs> At any rate, um, I used to have a lot of fun. I think I do have a couple of the other Holly Hobby um, characters also, but um, this is just precious. And on this side, it has a little hammock that she can lay in <laughs> on a hot summer day. Anyway, it's just cute. It's one of those things, um, like I've mentioned before, that. It's just fun to collect things that bring back happy memories. So just wanted to share that with you today and let me know what you think about my Goodwill haul. I'm excited to start my Etsy shop soon, um, probably in the next mm, few weeks anyway. I'm trying to recover and uh, I had physical therapy today. Actually today is uh, my husband and my 24th wedding anniversary. So, yep, just yesterday we got married. <laughs> been together a quarter of a century. <laughs> it's been great. God has blessed us and um, we are excited about the next 25 years. So, anyway, uh, comment below. Let me know what you thought about this haul. Let me know what your favorite item was. 
If you uh, grew up playing with Holly Hobby or the chatter foam, this is just classic Fisher Price. I love all the vintage Fisher Price toys so much. But uh, anyway, hope you guys have a great day and God bless. Take care.